Hi, are you ready for some interesting lesson? Today we are going to look at a question paper from the November series last year done by the diploma students on their third year under building civil and architecture. The year 2022. Now it is time to go through the question paper. Uh, in the question paper, so that is question number 6b. A parcel of land has three straight sides, A, B, B, C, and C, D. The fourth side is irregular. Uh, there we can see we have been uh, shown our calculations. Uh, so uh, A, B will be 168 meters. B, C will be 255 meters. C, D will be 180 meters. D, A will be to 40 meters AC will be 340 meters uh, let's continue with our question the offsets measured from side DA to the irregular boundary are as shown on the table below then in our table we have the distances from point A uh, on our first row and then we have offsets given to us so that distance is the uh, distance interval of 60 uh, meters found from one offset to another offset. Having done that, let's look at our first question, which asks us to sketch the parcel of land. Uh, going back to the data given, we have three straights. And here our fourth side, we have been told it's an irregular uh, shape. Starting from point A, we draw the lines AB, BC, CD, and DA as irregular as possible. So the shapes, uh, the distances uh, where our irregular, the offsets are shown in the table. You will obtain them in the table uh, with that interval of 60 meters. On our second calculation, the area of the land is needed in hectares. But again, here we see another method where we are to use the double median distance method. Uh, it took me like three hours to find out the only method in survey near to that is the double meridian distance method yeah and again in order to use that formula our question needs uh, to have independent coordinates just like those questions uh, involving traversing uh, but looking at this question i'm not seeing any coordinate given to me uh, making it a little bit harder so uh, that double meridian distance method uh, you can refer to a good book I found in the library so that book title is fundamental of surveying by SK Rowan uh, if you look at page 412 they have explained well that method you can look at that uh, again then i remember one of my prof yeah my professor had one of these russian engineering book with top secret formulas maybe the double meridian distance method can be found in one of those books so if anyone with an idea you can leave a comment below and we can get to that double median distance method so let's go to our question and here in our question let us first calculate the area of the triangle abc and acd the areas of the triangles are given by a formula so the formula goes by area is equals to the square root of uh, S uh, into S minus 
a we close our bracket uh we multiply by s minus b and we multiply also by s minus c so a b c those are the lengths of the side given to us on the question there and s will be so that will be half the perimeter so that will be a plus b plus c divided by 2 uh, so we first go ahead we calculate our s so s will be uh, 168 plus 255 plus 340 divided by 2 uh, getting our answer there after having done that we come so uh, 381.5 will be our s we go ahead and we input that in our formula so area will be the square root of the s there we have it uh into brackets we minus the s uh by one of our sides uh, again we minus by another side and last two we minus by the remaining side which is c so you can look at that diagram uh, it, it has illustrated all the sides found in that triangle a b c then we go ahead in triangle a c d uh, we calculate our s after having done that we find our area using the formula that we had done earlier so that is formula for finding the area having finished that now we calculate the area of the irregular figure using now our trapezoidal rule or simpson rule uh, whichever we can handle because you can remember that double median distance method uh, it is nowhere to be seen uh, again if you find out you can tell us in the comment and we will be more knowledgeable so that is from the russian side yeah uh, in, in the simpsons rule uh, it requires even numbers of incentives where the trapezoidal rule can be used for either odds as well as the even number of increments so those are the divisions in the offsets uh, in the present case since the number of the increments or in increment yeah those are the the partitions uh, in which we have divided our figure in is even our uh, area can be determined by either trapezoidal rule or simpson so let me use the trapezoidal method yeah it's a little bit easy uh, let's go ahead so the area by trapezoidal rule is d over 2 into brackets the first offset plus the last offset um, in this case our last offset is the fifth and then plus 2 multiplied by the sum of the remaining offsets uh, so let's go ahead so d d will be the interval so the distance interval there that will be 60 meters divided by 2 into brackets our first offset is 0 our last offset is 0 plus 2 into brackets the remaining of our offsets as illustrated there so our answer will be 726 meters square hence we find the total area of the parcel of land so we add our areas which we had calculated earlier so the area for abc acd and our last irregular shape uh, after having done that we will get our answer there as 42,034.41 meter square a similar question can be found on the july series uh, 2018 you can look at it work it uh, as an exercise for you uh, that will be all and a link to the pdf will be provided uh, below thank you